Welcome to the dojo. I heard you were looking for a fun, easy, non-meta and budgetable deck to play in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I got you fam. Now, uh, this is the deck that I use in ranked as well. Just gonna go through the deck profile and we get into the combos and the basic combos, the advanced combos, whatever. Let's just get into it. So here we have the Albaz Tri-Brigade deck that I would like to call it. It's pretty simple. It's easy to learn. It's fun. It's not like the prank kids. It's just, oh, you must do this to win. No, we have different strategies, different ways of summoning monsters, different engines. Let's look at some of the Tri-Brigade cards that we use in this deck. So we have Fractals, at three we have kits at three and nervil at three very important we need three of each one keras could be at two it's not that deep for him to be at three we could keep him on two as for mercurial you can replace him i like to keep him brigand's kit also in there to bolster the tri brigade and also fallen of albaz engines as for our hand traps we have ash blossom maxi and psy frame gear gamma for those second turn hands that come in clutch most of the time for the tri brigade spells and traps we have the tri brigade raw which kind of acts like a forbidden droplet and we also have one tri brigade revolt now i used to run this at two i've never really used two one is usually enough as later on in the game you can summon your omen through other means for our extra deck as tri brigade we have the we have ferrigid we have bear brahm at two at three we have rugal and we have two of omen having two of omen is efficient we don't really need three i've never seen a case where i needed three omens i usually go into access cold talker and now moving on to the second engine of the deck we're gonna start with zodiac furrow blade very important for the zodiac engine Whiptail is there to bolster the attack so so two furrow blades and one whip tail for the spell cards we have fire formation tanky at two this card is very important for this as when you brick when you draw this card can enable to add one level four beast warrior monster from your deck to your hand this means any tri brigade cards this means any zodiac cards as for traps we have no zodiac traps extra monsters we have tiger mortar we have dryden't we have bobo very important and we have zeus we don't need anyone else a few decks i've also used in the past have a bit more to give zeus more material but i find this to be efficient as for the branded and fallen of albaz engine we have two fallen of albaz we have one albion the shrouded dragon and as for spells and traps branded in white branded fusion and as a trap card we have the branded sword in our extra deck we have brigand the glory dragon albion the branded dragon and also mirror jade the ice blade dragon as far as generic cards go in our deck we have called by the grave forbidden droplet and also lightning Storm storm for those turn twos along with nibiru for the summon now that we've gone through the deck profile let's see how we can use it in the game now the main engine of the deck works around removing monsters from the field into the banished card zone which means any card which most of the meta right now have any boss monster that comes onto the field that says can't be destroyed by battle almost all of our boss monsters remove cards and not destroy and it's very hard to out our boss monsters in this deck so we started the game and this is what our hand looks like this is the very basic combo of our deck when we have tri brigade fractal in our hand and also one other tri brigade card that could be kit that could be nervil that could also be keras that could be mercuria any other tri brigade card in our hand first things first we want to activate tri brigade fractals effect which discards it from our hand which enables us to send a card from our deck to the graveyard in turn we send kit and when Kit is in the graveyard, we activate its effect to send Nerval to the graveyard. So Kit, then Nerval. That's very important. And then we activate Nerval's effect once it's in the graveyard, which enables us to retrieve a card from the deck to our hand. And what we want to do is we want to get Keras. So this process just enabled us to put three beast, winged beast, or beast warrior monsters into the graveyard, which we need for the next few steps. Now, Tri Brigade Keras' effect is... It could discard one other beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from the hand. We want to make sure we do this combo with fractal and another winged beast, beast warrior, or beast monster in the hand. So we're going to discard kit from the hand and play Keras face up in attack position. Next, what we want to do is we want to activate the effect of Keras and banish only two cards. We can go straight into Omen here, but that's not what we want to do. We want as many winged beast beast cards in the graveyard as possible. We go into two cards, we banish any other tri brigades or any of the winged beast. This could be Zodiac. This could be any of the other cards and we summon Bear Brum. Bear Brum is our main link to monster. 
Now, Ferrigit is very situational. It allows us to draw one card and then place one card from our hand to the bottom of the deck. We need to send another Winged Beast monster. It's very situational. What we want to do is summon Bear Brum as often as possible. So after summoning Bear Brum, we go straight into the extra deck and going to Link Free Rugal. We don't want to use Bear Brum's effect. We can if the situation calls for it. But for this combo, we don't use it. We go into Rugal our link free and then we activate bear Brom's effect in the graveyard this enables us to get revolt in our hand and then we have to send back a card back to the deck after we do this it could be any card that you're not seeming fit for the game plan or the gameplay and then we set our revolt card and end our turn now here since we didn't normal summon and we have a monster we can normal summon. What we can do is we could summon Tri Brigade Kit. And then we could special summon Omen straight like this. Bring Omen onto the field. Use this effect. Yep. We could activate Rugal's effect if you want. It's just going to lower the attack of your opponent's monsters. But since we're going to be removing it from the field, we don't need to. And then we just banish any card which leaves us like this. Now, if you don't have another normal summonable monster to make the link for, we would end our turn with Rugal and Revolt. So we end our turn and then we wait for the perfect opportunity. Usually this is end turn, but if you know that interrupting this card at this moment, removing it from play, is gonna stop your opponent. You can play Revolt whenever you want. So we play Revolt now. We're gonna summon four monsters from the graveyard or from the banished deck. Just like this. And then we special summon our second omen in your opponent's turn. And this is going to enable us to activate Omen's effect. By counting how many cards we sent. If we have Nerval in the graveyard. Or if we just sent Nerval. We could say no. We could say no. And then we could say yes to get another Tri Brigade card into our hand off this combo. So in the chain we choose Fractal. We bring Fractal to the hand to use in the next turn. And then we could banish another card from the field just like that in our opponent's turn now here we could go for game we could keep our hands and that's the main combo that we want to use in our gameplay give me kit give me kit no give me kit me mama kit me mama kit when the morning comes okay so there are times where you get a hand like this where we have kit in our hand another monster that's not tri brigade it's just a zodiac furrow blade or a spriggan's kit now here we can go into the zeus engine but if we want to go into our normal basic combo like the one we did with fractal we would have to follow this process now we summon tri brigade kit onto the field and this is why we have Salomon Great Al Mirage. With Salomon Great Al Mirage, we use it to send Kit to the graveyard from the field. And since we sent it to the graveyard, we can now activate Kit's effect, starting off that basic combo. So we then get Nerval into the graveyard, and through Nerval's effect, we can activate and get Keras. Now, Keras here is very important because we did a normal summon, which means if we get Fractal into our hand, they both have the same effects. They could bring banished monsters and summon our link monsters. However, we would not be able to summon Fractal because we have already normal summoned Kit this turn. So we want to pick Keras here, which is very, very important. And then we activate Keras's effect, send Spriggan's Kit to the graveyard, for example. And then we have Keras on the field. From here, we could carry on our normal combo. We could send two cards, just as so. Bring out Bear Brom. And through Bear Brom, we can go into Rugal. And just like that, we have our combo again. And we get Revolt into our hand through Bear Brom's effect in the graveyard. And just like that, we get Bear Brom. We send the card back to the deck. You might want to keep Ash Blossom. And just like that, we've done our combo. We're ready for turn two. This was like a first turn. And then we see what the opponent does. And according to that, we act. Now, after playing Revolt from our previous turn, we have Rugal still on the field. And through Revolt, we have an Omen. So we've just used Revolt, got an Omen out on the field. Now, this is the fun part. What we can do is we have a normal summon yet. This is the start of our turn three. We could normal summon Fractal. 
and through this we could go into another link for and uh, you know what this means and from here we could go into depending on the situation you can go apollo usa apollusia however you pronounce it i like to say apollo usa it makes sense like moon landing and stuff so we go into access code talker use our link free and use our fractal an easy access code talker put in the extra zone activate its effect use rugal Yes, we don't need to activate that. Make it 5,300 straight off the bat. Now we can activate access code talkers effect because look at all the cards that we have to work with. That's free removals. So we could get Salomon Gray off into the banish. We destroy their main card. He used to, he decided to destroy that. Then we activate it again. Use Rugal this time. Select the card to destroy. And that's pretty much game. You could keep going if you need to. I don't know why I clicked it, but... You could keep going and just destroy all their monsters, but that was game previous turn. And that is an easy access code talker combo for the Tri Brigade deck. Now with the Zodiac engine, what we want to do is usually we use this after the second turn. So it's not going to work out the first turn and you'll see why in a sec. So first of all, we have Zodiac Furrow Blade in the hand. We summon it. If we don't have Zodiac, we use Fire Formation Tenki if we have it in the hand. Now you can activate this effect if you have another Zodiac card in your hand, which we can since we do. And it will enable us to draw one more card. As soon as we summon Zodiac Furrow Blade, we go into our extra deck and we summon Tiger Mortar. So after XC summoning Tiger Mortar, when we summon Tiger Mortar, it will have an effect that you can activate since it has material. We do not want to activate this effect because we want to keep the materials for Zeus later on. And now we're going to special summon straight into Zodiac Borbo. And his effect is that we can attack directly to the opponent. Now here, there is an important note we can have. If we have Zodiac Whiptail in our hand, we can add it to Bobo to boost his attack for this next phase. So we go into battle phase and we attack directly with Bobo, disregarding his monsters. And then we go into main phase two. In main phase two, be careful not to choose Zeus straight away. Pick Dryden first. Summon Dryden. Again, we do not want to use Dryden's effect where we detach one material to destroy a monster. No, instead what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into Zeus and summon him in defense position in a monster zone. Be careful not to place him in the extra monster zone. And once we place Zeus, we could just activate this effect. Make sure to read your opponent's card to see if anything stops this effect from happening. And then once we activate Zeus's effect... That animation is new. That's cool. We get rid of the field. He has one card in his hand left. And we have Zeus on the field, a 3000 monster. Now be careful since Zeus's effects do activate against your own cards. So it will get rid of every card on the field, including your own. Also, another thing to note, if you're going first and you have no choice but to play the Zodiac engine, then what you want to do is you want to go up to Dryden straight away without stopping at Bobo. Go to Dryden, have a negate. Since Dryden's effect is that you could destroy a monster with detaching the material, we can use it to interrupt the opponent on their turn. That's it for the zodiac engine now with branded fusion what we can do is we can fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions fallen of albaz as material from our extra deck using two monsters from our hand deck or field as material once we draw a branded fusion we activate as so and here we get the option to fusion summon one of the two monsters now the idea is we first summon albion the branded dragon we could get rid of scythe frame gear and fallen of albaz Summon it face up onto the field. Albion the Branded Dragon. And with that, we want to activate Albion the Branded Dragon's effect. So activating this effect, we can summon Mirror Jade the Ice Blade Dragon using Fallen of Albaz from the graveyard that we just threw from the deck to the graveyard. And as a second monster, we could use Albion the Branded Dragon as one of our materials. And that's if you're going first turn. Later on, we don't have to use Albion. We can keep him on the field. But we'll get to that in a second. So we, we summon Mirror Jade in face up. When it's summoned, its effect is that you can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material. Banish one monster on the field. Also, this card cannot activate this effect next turn, which usually we don't need. Now, with this effect, if we had monsters on the field, we use it to send Brigand the Glory Dragon to the graveyard. And what it does is you could add to your hand or special summon one tri brigade monster or one fallen of albaz from our decks so we would activate this effect send this to the graveyard and then 
banish a card here we're going to banish our own card because we don't have a card to banish on the opponent's side of the field so that is what the branded fusion combo would look like so with albion the shrouded dragon what you want to do is if you have it in your hand you could activate its effect and then depending on where you send the card from if you send it from the hand you can special summon albion straight away if you send it from the deck you place it on the bottom of the deck and you draw one card now depending on the situation you could change what you want to do if you need a monster on the field you could summon albion the dragon its name also becomes fallen of albaz while on the field or in the graveyard so it doesn't really matter where you send it this is used for albaz effects so it's good for that so what we want to do is i would send from the deck for example to the graveyard fallen of albaz and then draw another card to see what we get and that's how we use albion the shrouded dragon hope you guys enjoyed the video that was a quick run through of the combos of the tri brigade zodiac engine deck with branded support this is the deck i use in ranked on my series on the youtube channel click here to watch the rookie to master series to see how we do with this exact deck profile and as always thanks for watching